Michael Jordan speaks Mark Cuban selling Dallas Mavericks. After 20 long successful years of being the majority stakeholder of the Dallas Mavericks, Mark Cuban has officially decided to see his way out and sell his share. Mark obviously sold his 23% stake for a large sum of money, but according to Michael Jordan, the only reason he has sold was because he was in debt. Many people seem to believe that Mark Cuban profited from selling the Dallas Mavericks, but to everyone's surprise, Michael Jordan recently revealed the dark truth. Michael Jordan was recently seen on an interview speaking about his ownership in the Charlotte Hornets. Not long after, he was asked about his thoughts on Mark Cuban's situation. And that's when he spilled the beans. Surprisingly enough, Michael Jordan had a lot to say and seemed like he was glad to talk about it. Michael literally exposed Mark Cuban for being $500 million in debt and went on to prove it. Michael Jordan's recent interview clip is shocking to see and is quickly going viral all over social media. Nobody ever expected Mike to come out and say these things about Mark Cuban, but he just wants everyone to know the truth. Mark Cuban is obviously furious about this whole situation, but clearly he has bigger problems to worry about. There's obviously a lot to get into with all that's going on in the industry and all the celebrity reactions to this shocking news, but today we'll mainly be sticking to Michael Jordan Speaks Mark Cuban Selling Dallas Mavericks, because this reaction has fans going nuts. Everybody thought Mark Cuban selling the Mavericks was a success story, until hearing what Michael Jordan had to say. Like I said, there's a lot to get into today, so be sure to stick around and watch this video until the end as we get into things one detail at a time. Trust me when I say, you won't want to miss a thing. Thanks for stopping by today and visiting us at King Hoops. We post daily NBA celebrity updates and news that you really should know about if you're a fan. For more content like this, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment keywords Mark Cuban to enter our brand new giveaway. Now, let's jump into this video and take a closer look at Michael Jordan Speaks Mark Cuban Selling Dallas Mavericks. Mark Cuban's journey with the Dallas Mavericks is a tale of entrepreneurship, savvy business decisions, and a passion for basketball. In 2000, Cuban made headlines with his acquisition of the Dallas Mavericks, a move that not only transformed the fortunes of the struggling franchise, but also marked the beginning of his impactful presence in the sports industry. Cuban's original investment in the Dallas Mavericks was a result of being in the right place at the right time. In 1999, he sold his internet company, Broadcast.com, to Yahoo for billions, capitalizing on the dot-com boom. Following his windfall, Cuban set his sights on purchasing an NBA team. His opportunity came when the Dallas Mavericks became available for sale. Cuban, a lifelong basketball fan, seized the chance and purchased a majority stake in the team for $285 million. Since Mark Cuban took over the Dallas Mavericks, the franchise has experienced a significant turnaround. Under his ownership, the team has consistently been a competitive force in the NBA. Cuban's hands-on approach, coupled with strategic decisions and investments in player development, has propelled the Mavericks to playoff appearances and a memorable NBA championship win in 2011. Cuban's impact on the franchise extends beyond the court, as he introduced innovations like the state-of-the-art American Airlines Center, contributing to the overall success and sustainability of the team. Mark Cuban's wealth and success extend beyond his ownership of the Dallas Mavericks. Before his foray into sports ownership, Cuban became rich through his ventures in the tech industry. His entrepreneurial journey began with the founding of Microsolutions, a computer consulting service, which he later sold to CompuServe. The sale provided him with the initial capital to start his next venture, Broadcast.com, a pioneering internet streaming company. The sale of Broadcast.com to Yahoo in 1999 solidified Cuban status as a billionaire. Crazy facts about Mark Cuban include his love for basketball, evident not only in his ownership of the Dallas Mavericks, but also in his passion for playing the sport. Despite his busy schedule, Cuban has been known to join pickup basketball games and even install the basketball court in his home. Mark Cuban's relationship with Michael Jordan goes beyond the basketball court. In 2000, Michael Jordan, who was part owner of the Washington Wizards at the time, reportedly expressed support for Cuban's passionate approach, acknowledging the positive impact on the league. Over the years, their friendship has grown, reflecting a mutual respect between two influential figures in sports. 
Mark Cuban's closest friends in the industry likely include fellow entrepreneurs, business leaders, and those he has collaborated with throughout his career. While specific details about his inner circle may not be extensively publicized, Cuban's involvement in various industries and his reputation as an approachable figure suggest a network of influential connections. Cuban's extravagant purchases have included some of the most expensive items in the world. Notable among these is his acquisition of a Gulfstream 5 jet, one of the most luxurious private planes available. His collection also reportedly includes a custom-made private yacht, showcasing his penchant for enjoying the finer things in life. Mark Cuban's involvement with the Dallas Mavericks is a testament to his entrepreneurial spirit and passion for basketball. His original investment in the team marked a turning point for the franchise, leading to unprecedented success on and off the court. To stay updated with the latest Michael Jordan Mark Cuban content, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time at King Hooks.